Hey everyone, and we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tinager, and we are playing some Mass Effect 3. Hi, Garrus! What are you doing right, up here? My turn. What's the first order an Alliance commander gives at the start of combat? What? Um, uh, I give up. <laughs> Correct. Oh! <laughs> Alright, big guy. What do you call it when a Turian gets killed by a horrible spiky monster? Friendly fire. Come on, that one goes back to shooting. <laughs> shoot. I gotta respect the classics. Horrible spiking monster. How friendly many humans friendly does fire? it take to activate a dormant mass relay? Uh oh. Six hundred and two. Six hundred to vote on it. One to ask the Asari for technical help, and one to request a seat on the council afterwards. <laughs> How do you know when a Turian's out of ammo? He switches to the stick up his ass. As, as a backup back weapon. <laughs> Why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? Garrus. You're shitting me. The Turian military has one about me? Oh, absolutely. I heard it myself from a private back on Palavin. He, he's messing right. with him. Why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? So their Marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drill. Oh! <laughs> Damn, you need to tell James that one. <laughs> hey, what's the hardest part about treating a Turian who took a rocket to one side of his face? Figuring out which side took the, the rocket? rocket. <laughs> Okay, that made me happy. That made me happy. <sighs> Never thought I'd see the Krogan and the Turians team up. Even the Reapers have to be a little nervous about pissing them off. I'd say more than a little. It's because we're awesome. I'm sorry about Morden. He was a good man. Yeah, he was always running those tests. And one time he tagged me in the middle of the night to ask how many livers humans had. What? And this bump <laughs> on my elbow? He said it was just a mild bone deformation, but... I'm pretty sure he stuck a probe in there. That's kind of his thing. I'm glad it was just your elbow. Huh. I always thought he was crazy. Useful, but crazy. Then he gives up his own life. So crazy. <laughs> to save the Krogan. Doesn't do much to disprove the crazy theory, huh? <laughs> I guess not. But he was one of ours. Damn straight he was. So now that we got the Krogan and the Turians, what now? We the Krogan Krogan's can help us turn the, the tide Korians. on Palavin. They can shoot at something useful for a change. Dig till we hit daylight, huh? Yep. Works for me. So how does it feel knowing Krogan will be singing songs about you until the end of time? I think it would be an honor. There's enough misery in this universe. It's nice to see something go right for a change. Now kiss. Can't say I've ever really witnessed history in the making like this. Well, except for Sovereign attacking the Citadel. And then there was the Collector base, but this one felt good. And let's hope those did it? running the show on Tachanka. Maybe we should hire a food taster for him. Probably. Imagine the carnage if someone like that brother of his, Reeve, took over. That could happen. I know. It's a chance we have to take. But I have to say, if it wasn't my own world that needed the help, I might have taken that Salarian deal. As you guys saw with my reaction to it, never crossed my mind. I could never bring myself to do that. No matter what I was offered. I admire your restraint, Shepard. It's nice when we can save the galaxy without destroying another race along the way. Yes, it's helpful. It's quite helpful, actually. Let's hope our luck holds. Yeah, it, w it won't. It really won't. Where's Edie? Edie? Commander? Joker? I wonder where all the Krogan will live now. I've never seen what you'd call a house on Tachanka. Well, Rex did say he wanted ten new worlds, so... Maybe there? Step, 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 stepity step, 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 Commander, step, step. Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Cool! Let's go to the crew deck. <laughs> I'm going to ignore engineering for now, because I want to talk to everybody else first. I am an equal opportunity to talk to all of the people on my crew person. And I just figured I should go in order, cause reasons. Cause reasons. Anybody here? Nope, because pain. Anybody here? Nope, no drunk Tolly, yet. Nope. Nope. Women's restroom. I love how it just takes away the option to even go into the boys' restroom. You okay, Chakwas? 
Check us, check us. I'm glad to see we have Garrus back. It's because Garrus is awesome. I wanted to help with his scars, but I think he actually likes Hi, Edie. What's up, bruh? What are you up to now? I'm uploading data on the destroyed Reaper to the Turians. They are investigating possible Reaper structural weakness. Our data says Reaper capital ships such as Sovereign are of unique design. However, smaller Reaper destroyers bear similarities. That's good. That one was small? <laughs> that was Relatively, small? yes. Ground attack ships are only 160 meters in height. Sovereign was approximately two kilometers. Dear, wow. Well, keep talking to the Turians. If there's a chink in the Reaper's armor, we all need to know it. That was a small Reaper. Okay. The aura. The aura. The aura. I want to talk to your face. Talk to your face. Face, face, Any face. Any sign of life? The Reaper destroyed by the Thresher Maw appears to be completely inert, Doctor. That's good. We would need to send in teams to be sure. Out of the question. Tell the Krogan to stay away. Yeah, get away from it. <laughs> Working on anything? I'm helping decode some of the Crucible's designs. Or trying to. And failing horribly. Theoretical particle physics based on specialized base 12 mathematics aren't exactly my specialty. That's and weird. Javik is his usual forthcoming Unavailable. Self. I'd trade my last hundred years to resurrect even one Prothean. Scientist help. Well, not happening. Ooh. Weapon damage. Until the Battle of Arcturus. Weapon damage. <laughs> Store discount, power recharge speed. Ooh. Nope, this one. I've never been wanting for money. Ooh. Damage. Okay. At your service. Thank you, Cliff. We don't have to worry about going to talk to... Garrus, because he's not actually there, so we're going to go to engineering and talk to Engineer Adams. And nothing wrong will happen when we go to talk to the Citadel. At all. Nope. Nothing at all! Nothing's gonna go wrong. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. There we go. Ah! The lag! The lag is real. At least it doesn't persist. I've had it persist. I had to leave the area and come back in in order to get it to not lag. Hi, Dravik. How are you, bruh? Commander. Javik? You settling in, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of this ship is strong. Sorry. How so? I have been exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. I detected a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially created. Miranda. Sounds like Miranda. And a drill. There was illness in him. Thane. Thane. And the Krogan we met, who Grant. lived in these quarters. He was undergoing a metamorphosis. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. He's good now. I still can't wrap my head around that. Reading information like you do. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. They must have had to keep everything really Our clean. Scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. They called it the cosmic imperative. The strong flourished. The weak perished. The governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. Was this imperative just your scientists' opinion, or did they prove something we don't know? The universe well, had Reapers. already proven it. They only had to look around. And saw what, exactly? Extinction is the rule of law in the cosmos. The natural order of things. The weakest species are doomed. It's the duty of the strong to protect the weak. Otherwise, we'd have anarchy. Yep. But those who had nothing to offer would be eliminated. So conflict should be a way of life. Evolution demands it. The strong grow stronger by dominating the weak. It is for the greater good of all. 
Yes and no. Though I do not think your story approves of my beliefs. I don't think Liara approves of you at all. Liara? Except for the fact that you're Prothean. I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. Just a little. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. You think you'd like that? It's a whole different line of work. I wouldn't know. Living a life of constant war. Taking life in every battle. I see how it could be tough to see outside the box. Just a little. It is the only box I have known. It shapes me. A stone is shaped by the one who carves it. The stone has no choice in the form it will take. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. Maybe not much longer. We win this and we'll both be set free. To retire, hopefully. Because where in the world do you go from saving the universe? You have killed a Reaper. Yep. I would like to have seen it. No matter. There will be more. Sorry, Javik. Plenty more. Yes. A difficult fight remains. Sorry, Javik. I have heard about the offer the Solarians made. I would have accepted him not to the Krogan. Edie doesn't That would not end very well. She is the but Normandy. Do not matter now. No, she's Your a passenger in the Normandy just like us. The, the ship was a spacefaring vessel before Edie even existed. Engineer Donnelly is correct. The Normandy SR2 was completely spaceworthy prior to my installation. See, Edie agrees with me. Edie's mind and the Normandy are a whole entity now. You couldn't just move the processors in the AI core to another ship. You could try! Engineer Adams is correct. Processes that contribute to my self-awareness are spread throughout the ship. See? Edie agrees with me. But unlike Edie, our brains couldn't have existed without our bodies. That is a requisite from being organic. You have to look beyond that limited depth. Edie can direct the Normandy with her thoughts. She sees, hears, and feels through the ship's sensor arrays. The Normandy is her body. I've seen Edie's body, and its curves are a fine sight better than the Normandy's hull. I don't know. I like, so the, what do you I think, like the Normandy's shape. Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. Any more of this, and my head's going to explode. explode. Oh, it's okay, Donnelly. Don't worry about it. Commander, I've identified a problem with our engines. A core overload could cause a plasma vent within the engineering compartment. That could be bad. Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. That could be bad. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle. At the same moment, the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic... His accent what, what makes me happy. What Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chain. I'll find it. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. Are these modifications really necessary? It's a safety issue, not exactly critical. Under extreme conditions, like heavy bombardment to the kinetic barriers while traveling at peak flight speeds, plasma can vent into this compartment. It would vaporize anyone standing in this room. That would be bad. That sounds more serious than just a safety issue. That would be bad. Well, under those conditions, odds are you're about to lose the entire ship anyway. But we want every advantage we can get, right? I get it. I'll look for one the next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. Yeah. As, as long as nothing's horribly, 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 horribly wrong at the Citadel. I mean, what... Cure, huh? Yep. This beats the hell out of reporting on the Milgram City Council. I don't think I've heard of Milgram. Which planet is that again? Beckenstein. It's right next door to the Citadel. I'm a colony kid. Aw, so am I. Commander, got a minute? Oh, no. What do you want to know? Also, you stole my dress. You've just implemented a cure for the genophage. Millions of Krogan will start fighting the Reapers. What do you say to people who think humanity is starting another Rachni war and Krogan rebellions? Ooh. It's easy to remember the worst of Krogan history, but you also need to remember the best. Meaning? The Krogan were heroes once, and they want to be heroes again. We're giving them that chance. Are you aware that Clan Erdnot is already petitioning the Council <laughs> for an embassy, an embassy and rights to a colony world? The Krogan are coming to the aid of a Council homeworld. That's more than a lot of species can say. Yep. I helped them get the genophage cure. Anything more is between the Council and the Krogan. There it is, straight from Commander Shepard. Until tomorrow, this is Diana Allers. Good night and stay strong. Yay. Okay, I'll cut that together with the rest of the segment and send it to Command for approval. Yay, news! Commander. Bye, Diana. 
I was helpful. Nobody's dead yet, except Morden. Okay, if I had to actually think about it in Morden's situation, had I been Morden, hey, I would have done the same thing. So stealthy and all, you sure do get shot at had I been Shepard, well, the UT I'd have obviously systems only done the same heat thing. And high band emissions. What? So while few sensors can pick us up, our cover is blown as soon as someone looks up. Time for an upgrade. Seriously. Most scanners I ship these two so hard. In mid -range frequencies. Sure, maybe. What's up, bruh? Everything okay with the shuttle? I ship them so much. Just checking the inertia dampener coils. It can be twitchy in these UT-47s. But don't worry. This bird's been rock solid. Good. I always see you down here working your ass off. Ever take any downtime? I get my sleep, Commander. Flying tired is nearly worse than flying drunk. Damn straight it is. What about your waking hours? Any R&R? &R? I need to keep myself busy. Otherwise, well, too much time to think. Don't work too hard. I appreciate your dedication, but I don't want to see you burn out. That would be bad. I know my limits. I wouldn't take a chance with your life. That's not what I meant. So before this war, you must have done something to relax. Sure. I remember back when the Hawking was based out of Arcturus, and I was just a fighter jock. A fighter jock? It was this observation deck overlooking the main flight paths. You could watch every ship taxi in and out. When I was alone, I'd turn off the auditory emulators and just watch them drift by in silence. You know, there are then views like do that it on again. the sail. Next time we're there, you should take some shore leave. Clear your head. I don't know. Maybe. Do it. Take some time off on the just Citadel, Steve. Do it. As a favor to me. If you put it that way, how can I say no? <laughs> it's an order. Go take you some can't. rest. <laughs> you can't. I'm your commanding officer, and I just glitched through you. James! James! James, 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 James. Hi. Parts of Tachanka reminded me of the desert back home. The lizards and worms are bigger, but, you know, the sand, sand and everything. everything. There was some grass. I found some grass. You want to hear about the grass, James? It was very pretty. There is ferns and grass and green stuff on Tachanka. Now they just need to take the seeds from there and the grass and the ferns and plant them over here and over there and that way and just put green everywhere. Tachanka will be pretty. So pretty. So pretty. Okay. Let's go to the Citadel. Oh boy. Meet the Solarian Counselor! This is gonna end poorly. So, we're going to go talk to the Solarian Counselor about possible corruption with Udina. It'll be a lovely chit-chat, we'll figure out some discrepancies in Udina's finances, and we'll call him in and go, hey Udina, what's wrong? he go, oh no, 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 I was just paying for this thing and it's fine, and then everybody will be okay. Where'd the rest of the ship go? <laughs> Normandy, are we clear to descend? Ah, my eyes! <laughs> Alliance Control, this is Normandy. We're headed to Bay 1-4, Zakara Ward. Are we clear to descend? Also his lips. What is wrong with my screen right now? Hi. What the hell's going on down there? Even if there were a station malfunction, they'd have backups online. I got a bad feeling here. Checking emergency channels. Hey, yeah, this is Joker. Uh-huh. Yeah, no kidding. Commander, there's a communication from Thane. Thane! Because it's important. I think you'll want to hear this. Yeah, Cerberus took over Thank the you. Citadel. Shepard, the Citadel is under attack. Cerberus troops are everywhere and they're in control of the docks. 
Great. Are you safe? No. I had to evade their commandos at the hospital. I'm in a Presidium storefront. Did Ashley make it out? We got separated. She said she had to protect the Council. I'm going to CSEC headquarters. Have fun, Thane! Why CSEC headquarters? Stay alive. It's been compromised, and CSEC's response depends on it. As long as Cerberus is holding the headquarters, they have the station. All right, Joker. Get us away from the docks and close to CSEC HQ. We'll deploy in the shuttle. Aye, aye, Commander. This is going to end poorly. I told you something was wrong! I told you something was wrong! Okay. Garrus. Edie. Do it. There's something seriously wrong with my game today. First in that other episode, we had the cutscene glitch out, and now Shepard's eyes turned into demon eyes and half the Normandy was missing. I meant the Normandy behind the cockpit. You couldn't see anything. It was black and dark. Okay. You're good. You're good. Okay, we're good. Okay. You can't get anything yet. You can't get anything either. Alrighty then. I was gonna say, oh, it looks fine here, but then you see the bullets. Hi, Cerberus. Oh, wait, you're not Cerberus, you're CSEC. You're the guys we like! That's bad. Help! Help! Help them now! Or you could do that. Hi! It's that Bailey! It's that Bailey! Bailey behind you! No, Bailey! Bailey, no! Was that Bailey? Might have been Bailey. What's up, bruh? Hey, who said there could be a turret here? No, excuse your face. That's not how science works. No. Just no. Uh, nope. Hello, Mr. Century Run. Um, this way. Sit, sit. No. Damn it, controls! My name's Shepard, and I just like to run around in circles. Sup, bruh? No! Well, that was not very nice. Is there anybody up here I can kill? No. No. Oh, there's one! Sup, bruh? Don't worry about it. Oh, hi! <laughs> Up. No. See, having more weapon damage is awesome. Weapon damage for days. Nope. Oh. Did we kill? Nope. Still got one. Hi there. How you doing? Bailey! Bailey! Watch out! They sealed the entrance. Oh. We're not done yet? Oh, hi! Bailey! Bailey, no! B -b Bailey? Access. Ah, Shepard! Shepard! <laughs> now he yells at me! I saw those Cerberus troops on you. I thought you were done for. Don't worry about it, bro. Bailey, what are you doing here? Getting my ass shot off trying to retake headquarters. Cerberus took it in the first push. You guys suck. We gotta kick them out of there. Everyone in CSEC's flying blind without the network. CSEC sucks. How bad's the situation? Do you know if the counselors are alive? They split up. I'll know more if I can access the terminal inside. Can you get us in? I'll get the door. If no one interrupts me with a bullet this time. Do you need some Metagel? I've got some. I like Bailey. He's cool people. 
Come on, Bailey. Your arm is glitched into your stomach. Like, you can only see two fingers because the rest of it was inside his pelvis. Here we go. CSET network access. Courtesy of Cerberus. Hey! How's that gonna help? Cerberus has control of the main channels, but I can set up a new one. Without it, our people have no plan and no chance. Hello. Hello? What have you got? Hi. A warning from Counselor Valern. He's supposed to be here meeting with the Executor. Be on guard. The likelihood of betrayal from within is high. Not a lot else. But if he's inside... That's not good. Why would the Counselor be meeting with the Executor? Usually it means someone big's about to be prosecuted. I guess that someone had Cerberus friends. You don't the say. The Counselor mentioned Udina. But that's insane. Does he even have this kind of pull? Apparently, you know yes! You have the answer to that? The counselor. One counselor's better than zero. Where am I headed? He could be in the executor's office. It's a fairly defensible position. I'm on it. Let's go! Just a sec. Yes? There. Now we can talk by Omnitool. Go! Thanks, Bailey. Keep yourself alive. We like you. We also need you for a couple quests. Thanks. Did you hear all that? Yes. I'm nearing the building, but running is difficult. Honey! Thane! You're sick! No! No, Thane! No! No! No, Thane! No, Thane! No, Thane, no! Oh, dear. Oh, dear! Okay. Suffer! You know what? I don't like you guys. No! No! <laughs> Wait, who did the singularity? Stop! No! Ha! Ha! I got shield! I should probably actually pay attention. That might help. Is there anything here for me to steal? No? Okay then. Stop! Nope! Hiding. Don't care. You're dead now. That sounds like a turret. Ow. No. Ah, there's the turret. Stop, Brett. Nope. Well, hide it there. That is not how you do this. I should get under cover and stop trying to kill things without cover, because I am a squishy adept. <laughs> squishy, squishy. Much squish. Nope. Troops in the lobby. They were dug in. I can see more through the cameras. They're all over the station. Great! Seriously, what could Service be hoping to accomplish by taking over the Citadel? What are they new? Apparently. Doom, doom, doom. There we go. Stop, bruh! <laughs> um. Wait, wait, wait. I saw you. I saw you! Get back here! Get back here before you deploy a freaking turret! No, don't even care. Don't even. No! <laughs> Just no! Screw you and screw your turrets! Hi, fake Edie. Oh, what's up there? Hi, Don. Nope. <laughs> okay, that was that everything. Okay, then. We're at the end of this video, guys. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I have been playing some Mass Effect 3. I'll see you all in the next episode.